morning from Picton, New Zealand. Day one of the Te Aroa. Only doing the South Island. Get the water taxi over to the start of the Queen Charlotte track. On our way, 2023. February 7th today. Let's burn off some laziness. Ship Cove, start of the Queen Charlotte track. Guess that's the sign. Tap on. Let's go. 1300 and something kilometres to Bluff. Cicadas are twerping. Got my fly rod here, so we'll fly fish my way down. Oh, look, the kiwi. Nah, it's a wecker. Lunch with the cicadas. Land of the long white cloud, but none to be seen today. The aim today is to do 29Ks to Camp Bay, I think it is. Got designated campsites here, you can't just camp wherever you want. I've either got one in four kilometres, about 11 or 12 more. Camp Bay, if you can't saw it, come down here, the night one tradition, if you've been watching my other videos, you know what comes next. See you tomorrow. Morning. Hobart, 7,222 kilometres. I think that's a bit out. My GPS says 2,000. Back to Picton. About four k's to go to Mistletoe Bay. Stay there tonight. 31 k's for the day. That's enough. Have a lot tomorrow. Stay there tonight. Eat 
green lip muscles. Morning onwards to Havelock today. Resupply and figure out what I'm doing for the Richmond Ranges. One section you can't get through with bad weather, but long range forecast says next tropical cyclone, three days of rain. I might have to get off halfway, sit it out for three or four days. Stop for a break. They say a picture tells a thousand words, but the words that they don't tell are sand flies. They are horrific. Have a lock. Resupply, very basic. Not much choice. Most important, beer, salt and vinegar chips, a bag of green lip mussels. Mussels, beer, and a mussels rice soup type ensemble. Not bad. See you tomorrow. Morning. Just left Havelock on my way to Polaris Bridge. Probably fish along the way. 21 k's. Bit of road walking first. Wild mint. Vietnamese tonight. Finally out of the paddocks. Now we get Polaris Bridge. Stay there tonight. Didn't get the fly rod out. Couldn't get down to the river. So, got a cyclone coming. X cyclone next. Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, three or four days of rain, so I'm going into Nelson from Hackett Hut. It looks like I'm going to have to sit it out for four days. Not ideal this early. Means I've got to go quicker later on, but not much you can do about it. Morning. Let's camp for the night. Polaris Bridge. In a bit of a bubble at the moment. Everyone's deciding what to do for the Richmond Rangers. I'm getting off at Nelson. This morning got about three hours road walk. And then we're into single track finally. That's the hardest section through to St. Arnold. It's about six days. It's meant to be the hardest section of the whole T TA, but uh, say don't go through in bad weather. Well, you can't. And 
three days time we got this ex cyclone hitting so I'll go to Hackett Hut and try and get a ride down to Nelson got three nights booked down there hopefully only have to use two hopefully not four or five because then get way behind schedule then never know what will happen with the weather so let's see Captain's Creek Hut. Don't know if I'll stay here. Let's see. Pushing on to the next hut, Midi Hut. Sand flies back there were just, they've been bad everywhere. They were just national disaster zone there. So, if you keep moving, they don't get you. So, I'm going to keep moving. There we go. Morning. Stayed in the hut last night. Walk out to Hackett Hut today. Bit of climbing to go this morning. Test out my unfitness. Let's go. Rocks Hut. This is Browning Hut. This is what you get inside them over here. Mattresses, table, fireplace. Haven't seen a snake yet. It takes you a while to get used to not looking for snakes in New Zealand. Still jump at the odd stick. It's shaped like one. Can't get it out of your head. Hackett Hut. Last bailout option back to Nelson before going all the way through to St. Arnold. I'll be getting off here in the morning, stay here tonight, get off here in the morning, go into Nelson, hopefully only lose two days, but might be four, which is not ideal this early, is what it is. Morning, walk out now, leave the TA, try my luck at Hitching. Never done that before, so see what, see if someone feels sorry for me. Hopefully not Ivan Malat. Well, here we are, two and a half days later. That went quick. The impending cyclone, flooding rains and wind. Never got a drop of rain or any wind, so I've lost. Nearly three days. Got enough time to 
walked in from Richmond this afternoon, which was 22 k's to get back here. And now I've got a 950 metre climb, six kilometres, to the next hut. Back on track. Up and up the creek we go. What do I do in Nelson? Not much. Resupplied. A few beers. Ate junk food. Went to the pub, watched the Super Bowl. Heading up into the clouds. Starville Hut. Pretty good views. Climb up there tomorrow. Morning. Happy birthday to me. What better way to spend your birthday? This. Bit of a wild day, so it's going to go over the rintools, but need good weather for that. So go to Old Man Hut, which is fitting because today I'm an old man. at all. I can think of worse places to spend my birthday, like work. Lunchtime. Getting close to Old Man Hut. Early finish for the day, but next hut's about five hours away. Up over them. One of the hardest bits, apparently. I'll leave that for tomorrow. Oh, that's yeah. good <laughs> Sorry. Morning. Day of the... Notorious sprint tools. Slow, hard day ahead. A lot of climbing, descending, steep. Calves are sore.
down here and up that and then down that five hours five kilometers apparently so slow going There we go, top of Mount Rintoul. Rintoul hut, lunch break. First glimpse of snow. Big brown. There. Can't get down to him though. Slippery, slippery scrambly trail today. Bit of rain overnight. Haven't fallen yet. Time to get wet. Look at the weather, and they said chance of thunderstorms. Every time I'm on the exposed ridge, doesn't matter where I am in the world, every time. It's been a tough two days. 37k is all I've done in two days. Just up and down. Knees killing. Another full house at the hut, so I'll camp here. Day and a half to St. Arnold. Morning. Hunter's hut. Headed for Red Hills hut today. And then on to St. Arnold tomorrow, pick up my resupply. mistaking where the next hut is.
Red Hills Hut. Destination for the night, St Arnold tomorrow. Morning, onwards to St Arnold. If someone picks me up on this road section, I'm taking it. So I'm 35 k's in surplus at the moment. Beer awaits.